Hey guys, hope you're doing well if you're new. Hi, my name is Ansley. This is That's Really Pretty. We discuss a lot of makeup, a lot of beauty, product tutorials, reviews, all that fun stuff. So thank you for stopping on by. If you're not new, hey, what's up? What's good? Thanks for coming on back. I appreciate the continued support. So as always, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this wear test. Comment anything you'd like to chat about down below, whether it's about the foundation, whether it's about life, whatever. I'm all ears. I love talking to you guys. And lastly, share this video with anyone that you think would enjoy it. And you can turn on the notifications bell if you like to see what I post when I post it. All right, so yes, we are finally doing the wear test for this foundation this is a Too Faced Born This Way foundation this is one of the shades that Jackie came out with it's in the shade Spiced Rum I have said this in other videos where I've talked about this foundation I had heard really good things when it had first came out but I was never interested in being color matched to it so I find that a little funny because I wouldn't have found my shade anyways until Jackie came out I think it was nine additional shades don't quote me on that so I've already primed my face and, and have done my eyes this is the Touch and Soul No Pore Plum primer I hate that name um I've already done that and then on my eyes y'all I cannot say enough I can't even like I can't make a video about it but I literally cannot say enough about this next product this is the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner I just got it and I've been doing cat eyes non-stop like this tool is everything go get you one if you haven't tried it this is what the tip um of it looks like like it's just I thought it was me. I thought I couldn't do my eyes. No, it was the other eyeliners that I were using that just, uh, it's so good. Okay, anywho, in terms of mascara, I've got two on. This is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, and this is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. So, used both of those uh, today. All right, let's get into the wear test. So, I'm going to be honest, I kind of feel like color correcting today. I just a color correcting day i'm trying to figure out when i do wear tests like what is my standard going to be do i color correct do i not color correct all that kind of stuff uh so i'm gonna color correct i still haven't figured it out yet i've just got like stuff going on today so not that i need to color correct because i have stuff going on but i really just feel like doing it so <laughs> here we are I'm just going to use orange. I don't feel like getting out green and I don't feel like putting a lot on. Just a little something something. Okay. And I also have a new brush. Again, I don't really know if people want to see a video on it. Um, as I buy more higher end brushes, I might do like a luxury brush haul. But I picked up one of the new Dior um, Backstage brushes. So I think I'm going to use that for this wear test. I think this is like 49 bucks so I have similar brushes well they're a little similar but I kind of use them for the same thing they're all for fluid foundation so I'm gonna do half my face and then I'll finish my face off camera and come back that just disturbs me but it is a really good color match <laughs> oh I should preface so yeah this is a little dark um my lighting down here is horrible, especially like right here. My skin is a lot lighter and I look super red on camera right now. Um, I'm gonna quickly show you this side of my face. It is darker, uh, but I feel like I put a lot on. So I'm gonna use what the excess is over here and feather it out. So I'm just gonna, that one little pump is gonna be for my whole face. And then I'll go in of course and like highlight under my eyes and all that. I will say, I do feel like this foundation is going to be way too dark for winter. So, not opposed to picking up a new shade, um, but I do feel like it's going to be way too dark. So, when I, it like matches my shoulders, but not my chest. But it'll look a little bit better when I color correct. It doesn't look horrible. I don't know. So, my lighting down here isn't necessarily great. Um, even when I've done past product reviews, stuff will match me like better in natural lighting or when I just don't have these warm lights and like my cool tone background. See, it doesn't look as bad when I, I can't like make this like a full coverage foundation for me. It's just the shade is a little too off in order for me to do that, but go through. Okay. So I feel like I buffed that in enough. I'm going to uh, highlight under my eyes do all of that. I'm just going to do my whole face on camera right now because of what happened earlier. I got way too much on that one side. So I'm just going to kind of feather this out a little bit. There we go. Put that back. 
And this is a Too Faced Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer in the shade Mocha. And I have used this in previous videos, so this isn't necessarily the first time I'm using it. Uh, this brush is a little, like, stipply. Like, it's prickly almost. Um, so, I don't know. I'm not sure if it's worth $49, but I really wanted, like, a treat yourself. Uh, this is going up after I had filmed it. Well, I mean, it naturally, duh, it is, but it's gonna be a couple of days. I had a rough weekend, so. Ended up being okay, but it was a little rough there for a minute. Uh, a little retail therapy is uh, good for the soul every now and then. Okay, so I don't know how I feel about this combo. Again, I feel like with Too Faced products, I don't know. Uh, I don't, we'll see how it wears throughout the day. Now I feel like this mocha shade is too light, but it looks great with a lot of the other foundations I've been trying it with. I'm gonna set it with the Too Faced Just Peachy Powder real quick. I don't know, I also feel like I look really red on camera, which is not helping. Uh, put some foundation there. So, let's see. I will take a photo, of course, for Instagram. It's not gonna be posted at the same time I make this video, naturally, because <laughs> that's just how I am. Um, but I will post a picture on Instagram. It looks like a little more contrasted on camera than it does in real life y'all i can't wait until i move and my lighting is just better oh my gosh <laughs> i'm really looking forward to that that'll be a very good day so i've got about a month at this point until i move so i'm just gonna finish putting this on the spots and then i'm gonna bronze the outer part of my face so I will say the one thing is with found one thing, excuse me, with foundation is that you do kind of like it's really hard to find something that like straight out the packaging works. This is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze. I've had this for a while. I should probably get a new one, but it's in the world of bronzers. It's a pretty good one, so I'm just gonna use that to like warm up my face, warm up my forehead a little bit. I don't feel like contouring today, but no, I definitely, definitely could. Um, so I'm just gonna use to kind of warm up the outer part of my face just a little bit see look all bronze on that side well i'll be honest today's gonna be a weird day i'm filming on a monday considering how my week went last week it's gonna be a weird day <laughs> dealing with the fallout of uh my week last week it's interesting to watch people apologize to you that's always a fun time all right so let's talk about this i feel like I don't know. I'm going to see how it wears throughout the day. I'm not like hell bent on keeping this foundation. I will say when you put like everything on, it looks fine. But under my eyes, like Mocha now just looks super bright. And maybe to you viewers at home, it doesn't look bad, but I don't like to have a super highlighted under eye. So I'm not really sure how I feel about that. I'm quickly going to go, whoop, go and do my brows. This is a MAC brow pencil. Or, I'm sorry. It's in the shade Spiked. It's the Eyebrows Crayon. Um, so I'm just going to quickly fill these in. So like nice light makeup for today, but I clearly look put together. Like I didn't just uh, roll out of bed uh, and show up at work. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, I will come back right now. It is almost 7 o'clock at 6.51. So I don't remember when my last meeting is today, but I'll be back at some point. I gotta come home. Uh, so yeah, I'll check back in. This is it for now. I do like how the overall look looks in terms of like how, I guess like airbrushed or like, I don't know. It just looks very smooth and very seamless. So I'm not counting out Spiced Rum. The more I look at myself, the more okay I look. Uh, but definitely comment down below what your thoughts are and yeah. We'll see how this works throughout the day. All right, guys, gotta go to work. <laughs> guys, it is the end of the day. It is seven o'clock, so I've had this foundation on for about 12 hours. This is what I look like. I will show you both sides of my face. As per usual, uh, when it comes to foundation wear tests, my walk home can be pretty sweaty. I was actually surprised today. Um, I like to blot too. I like to show you guys how sweaty I am, and then I blot just so you can see like what a little bit of do with the foundation looks like. But more often than not, like I work 
in corporate America. Like when I reference like my walk home, it's truly in like the 10, 15 minutes it takes me to get home. Like I'm sweaty and gross. So I just like to show you both versions though. Keep it real with you guys. So I've got like three minutes to wrap up this video. I um just need to like woo saw. <laughs> Friday was rough, Thursday was rough, Saturday was okay, Sunday wasn't half bad. Then I come home, I do keto, so part of that, I actually do eat a lot of bacon. Uh, there's different, people have different, all kinds of thoughts about keto. Um, so uh, I eat a lot of bacon, I buy like two packs every week and I go through them pretty quickly, so I love bacon. Um, came to cook some bacon uh, in the oven tonight and I have two roommates, one is American, one is French. I don't know if the story I'm about to tell you, there's a cultural difference that's implied or just not having common sense about how ovens work or how paper works. But I'm like cooking my bacon or whatever and I'm like, something smells a little smoky. And it's not that bacon because it's been in the oven for a fresh 30 seconds. So that's not it. Gets worse, gets worse. Like the oven's starting to smoke and I'm like, I don't know, maybe some like grease fell out the bottom. Like y'all know when an oven gets dirty, like you can get some scent, you can get a little bit of smokiness from it. No, that's not what happened. Uh, one of my roommates left a paper towel in the bottom of the oven as I started to crank it up to 400 degrees. And I was on the phone with my mom and I was like, are you kidding me? Like, are you, one, why is it in there? Two, who does that? And three, take it out. <laughs> like, do not set the apartment on fire. Like that paper towel was getting crispy and like actual smoke was coming out of the oven. So. I am very glad that I am moving. <laughs> very, very, very glad. Uh, I had a, I sleep talk and I'd had a dream earlier about someone poisoning the air. This is what happened. All right, y'all just stay with me. So I sleep talk, I'm also very conversational. I don't move around too much, but I will like jolt awake in my sleep if something scares me. So I don't remember the dream. Maybe I dreamt of something. Maybe I was just foreseeing into the future. But um, I jolt out of bed and I like think to myself, did someone poison the air? Because at this point I'm freaked out. I like, I used to stop sleep, um, I used to stop breathing in my sleep when I was much more overweight. And so I was like gasping for breath, was worried that someone poisoned the air, then immediately ran to pick up my cat and I was like, we gotta get the hell up out of here. Like the air's dirty, we need to go. So I'm like, Mona! And I start to pack like a little bag for her. Mind you, my hair is messed up. I ain't got no shoes on, I ain't got no bra on, but my cat is gonna have all the essentials that she needs to survive the apocalypse. I realized at one in, in the morning that that was actually not the case. The air was fine and that we should go back to sleep. So I say all that to say, I come home to the oven about to catch on fire and all this dirty air and smoke that's flying around. And I feel like my dream actually came true at this point because one of my roommates is hell bent on setting the apartment on fire. Anywho, <laughs> this is the end of the wear test. I hope you enjoyed it. As you can see, like sweat aside, you can see like where my foundation has worn away a little bit. I also get super red on my walk home and I'm, I've got some low key allergies that haven't been addressed. So don't mind the redness. I actually feel like looking at myself, the foundation in terms of the color match, it's not bad. I've got these like okie doke fingers up. It's actually not bad and I don't hate it. I think for me, because it's a little bit too dark, I'm gonna have to let it like melt into my skin and settle a little bit. I do have some of the Body Shop, um, like half a shade lightning drop. So I am gonna do a video on this. I think when I do it, I will use the Too Faced foundation because I know it's a scope too dark. So we can test that and see if that helps any. All right guys, that is the end of the video. I need to go just like stand near the oven in case one of them tries to slip another paper towel into it and set the apartment on fire. So, all right, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment any questions that you have below about the foundation or just life or whatever, my cat, like let's chat. And uh, share this video with anyone that you know is either looking to pick up this foundation or is looking specifically for uh, Spice Rum, this particular shade. Share my video. Hopefully they'll get something out of it and you did too. All right guys, take care and until next time. Oh, my cat is scratched. She's like messing up my chair. Luna, stop. So until next time, Luna and I are going to say goodbye to you guys. She really just likes eating and clawing out my furniture, but she's a little cutie. She's chunky, but she's funky. We're going to, we're going to hang out. We're going to eat some bacon. We're going to enjoy the rest of our night. So I will see you guys later. Bye.